This is the final word with Jeff Lemon and Daniel Norcross filling in for Adam Collins today. Uh, well, thing, things are happening. Things are happening quite quickly in the world of cricket. Just after we recorded the show last week, uh, suddenly all of the Justin Langer stories started coming out. Now, a couple of months ago, the stories were about there being a review into uh, JL's work methods and whether they were um, whether, whether they were going down well with the players that he was coaching and so on. Uh, there was a, a supposed kind of cultural reset. He'd supposedly taken feedback on board, etc. And then over the a few weeks after that, he seemed to indicate that he hadn't actually taken any of that on board and didn't want to and didn't think he should take it on board. And then a story erupted about him getting very stroppy with uh, one of the cricket.com.au journos who had posted a video on the Cricket Australia website of the Bangladesh team celebrating after completely smashing Australia in a T20 series. Which generally speaking, if you're reporting on a series, then putting up video and written work pertaining to that series, including you know noting who has won it, um, seems fairly logical but apparently this was not perceived that way by Gavin Dovey the team manager and Justin Langer the coach um, it's now kind of spiralled into a thing of whether Langer should stay in the job uh, ahead of the Ashes um, his close friend and comrade Adam Gilchrist initially tried to help him out by getting on his radio show and saying that the stories that had been reported weren't true um, they were true they were very well sourced and so then Gilchrist had to back down and say what that they were true, but that if well, that that if there was a problem with Langer, then he either had to be kicked out now or or stuck with, and something decisive had to be done. So it seems like Gilchrist's attempt to help has actually blown up in in his and Langer's face, um, and it's all happened over the course of a week. Yeah, I mean, I watch it from afar, Jeff, and obviously with a certain wry grin because we saw that marvellous documentary, The Test, and we saw Justin's um, particular manner. And I find mm -hmm. him fascinating to watch. As a people watcher, I just, I love his intensity, his crazed intensity the whole time, the slightly high-pitched, querulous voice that he has. And I guess I adore it. And then he kicks over a bin and then puts things back in the bin. And I feel kind of fond of him. But the thing mm. is, I'm not actually having to work with him, so I don't really know the ins and outs. Uh, <laughs> you'll know better than me. He's just he's box office entertainment if you don't really have skin in the game. But I guess for the people that do, it's causing a bit of an issue. The elite mateship and things like that provide mm. us with wonderful sound bites that we can enjoy. But I'm, your perspective on this would fascinate me. <laughs> um, I've never been able to figure out exactly how the Langer thought process works you know some people you can you can work out how they perceive the world and roughly how they might greet any particular happening there's a kind of randomizing element it seems to 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 the way he will respond to things um, which includes responding to the same thing in completely different ways um, a period of time apart and then denying that he ever responded to it in a the different way previously because he's now responding to it in the way he is now and so that must be what he thinks so I I, th I think I've never been able to figure out Langer in that way um, there is there's certainly an entertaining aspect um, but as you say having to be in in the same room and and work with that day in day out may be less entertaining than uh, th than being able to watch on can I can I ask because there's it's interesting styles of coaches mm. and people talk about old school and we hear a lot of coaches over here talking about how young cricketers coming into the game need to be treated very differently from how they used to be you know the traditional way for a player back in the 70s and 80s to come in was that they would sit down they would polish the old pros boots they would shut up and they would listen while they were told exactly how cricket was properly played and what it was to be a pro and if they messed up they were told in no uncertain terms and you speak to coaches now, and they say, well, things have to be a little bit different. You have to have a bit of an arm around the shoulder. You have to be encouraging. You have to um, do the exact opposite, in actual fact. Mm. When a youngster comes in, they've got to be made to feel really welcome. Which strikes me as just good man management, actually, and, and quite sensible way to go about getting the best out of people. Is the problem with Langer, perhaps, that he's a little, a little old school, a little intense? Is it that, I mean... I'm not for one minute imputing that this would be the case, but someone like Adam Zampa, mm -hmm. for example, feels like a very new man, loves his coffee, you know, 
Um, I, I could imagine going for a drink with him being very down to earth and sort of, but but kind of a little bohemian and a bit fun. Uh, whereas maybe Justin's mm. slightly psychotically intense with the way he goes about things. <laughs> and, uh, is is that is that part of the problem? Is it a stylistic issue? I think the intensity may be where it's at. That he has said this himself hundreds of times he wanted nothing more and cared about nothing more than playing for Australia that was it that was the that was not only the pinnacle but that was the ascent that was the whole mountain that's mm. what it was all about mm. and so possibly having other people um, approach things in a different way where where maybe playing cricket is something that they do and it's something that they want to do well but it's not uh, th that completely central part of their life maybe maybe he doesn't i just I, I feel like being around that intensity of of commitment look if you if you care enough about the team that you're coaching that you're angry that the other team celebrating got posted in a video that sort of says that maybe you care too much or maybe you care so much that you're projecting it into the onto the wrong things you know it's it's overflowing into areas where it shouldn't um and being that invested, like probably to be really good in that professional environment, you need to be able to be dispassionate when you need to be. Um, you know, passion is great, but dispassion is essential. Yeah, and I obviously because Jeremy's living with me at the moment, Jeremy Coney, I can't think of a man less like Justin Langer mm. in that way. Um, as far as international captains <laughs> go, yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. Well, he's 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 a perfect example of what do they know about cricket who only cricket know. And I guess maybe Langer is a little bit not doesn't have quite so many outside interests, perhaps, mm. and uh, means that perspective can sometimes get lost. But as you say, look, it's that intensity that got him to the very top of his profession and made it mm. great. It's it's different strokes for different folks, and I'm not prescribing one or the other, really. But uh, like I say, I'll keep a watching brief with a wry smile. Well, as far as the intensity goes and the entertainment, I think we have to take this opportunity to drop in some work from Twitter user Take the Two uh, in this performance of Justin Langer uh, in Bangladesh. G'day, mate. I've just had a uh, little quick look at the website, the Cricket Australia website, mate. Yeah, there's a team, there's a video of Bangladesh team song on there, mate. <laughs> Aren't we the Australian cricket? Is that Australian cricket team's website, mate? Oh, all right, that's Australian cricket team's website. Only only one song should be on that website, mate. I know the Southern Cross was standing in the street, what Australia, yeah. Bangladesh team song on the website, how to get there. I saw you filming it, so I'm wondering if you've had something to do with it getting on there. That's Cricket Australia website, mate. Well, that was one of the most scary, sinister and magnificent performances I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've watched it a little bit like Colo. I've watched it about 150 times, <laughs> just for tips, really. Just for tips <laughs> to see how I could do my langer better. But So thank you to him. 